same name and welcome to my channel. So it's been quite a while. Matagal-tagal na ako hindi nagkaroon ng video because of the pandemic. Medyo nag-change ng konti yung lesson natin for the past few months. But now I'm kind of back and this video is all about masks. Since pandemic ngayon, we have the COVID-19 pandemic that has been terrorizing us for the past five months. And we have been required the minimum health standards to prevent the spread of the virus. And one of them is wearing masks. So for my video today, guys, I am going to show to you the masks that I use both medically and non-medically. Since I am a physician and I work in a hospital, so meron talaga akong mga standard masks na ginagamit ko sa hospital. And meron din akong mga masks na ginagamit when I am outside the hospital, which I call fashion masks. So without further ado, let us start with the medical masks that I use in hospitals. So magsisimula tayo sa masks that is widely recommended to be used in hospitals, the 3M N95 Particulate Respirator. So, N95 respirators have different types. As you can see, mayroon akong mga iba't ibang klaseng respirators dito. And I also have this one. So, I am going to discuss each of these briefly. N95 respirators are NIOSH approved. NIOSH means National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health. So, it is US-based. Pag NIOSH approved ang mask mo, it is effective as a particulate filter. It filters at 95% of airborne particles. Kaya N95 yung tawag sa kanya. As you can see, this one is dome-shaped. So, this is the area that sticks to your face and ito naman yung outside part. It has elastic garters that you put around your head. Meron mga fit tests na ginagawa to ensure na walang leakage all over the areas of the mask. The mask looks like this when worn. And so as you can see, talagang fit na fit talaga siya sa face. And this one has a wire, nose wire here, that you can adjust para masil talaga siya sa face natin. I am now going to briefly discuss the different types of N95 particulate respirators that I have here. So let's start with the 1860. So ito yung blue, ang kulay ng outside part niya. 1860 N95 is considered a surgical mask. This is FDA cleared as a surgical mask. It protects against airborne biological particles like bacteria, viruses. It also has a mycobacterium tuberculosis exposure control, meaning mapoprotektahan ka nitong N95 against mycobacterium tuberculosis or yung bacteria na nagkakos ng TB, which is very rampant in our country. This is also fluid resistant. It has a 99% BFE or bacterial filtration efficiency. So next, we have the 8210. So ito yung madalas na ito yung nakikita na sinusuot ng mga doktor. Bakit hindi ito? Kasi this is widely available compared to this one. Since this is a medical or surgical respirator, hindi ganun kadami yung stocks niya compared to this one. This one kasi, this is an industrial particulate respirator. Meaning, ginagamit to sa mga industrial areas. Any job areas that need masks na kailangan ng particulate respirator, so, and it, ganitong klaseng N95 yung ginagamit. Compared to the surgical N95, mas widely available ito kesa dito. Kaya ito yung madalas nating nakikita na ginagamit ng mga frontliners while wearing their PPEs. This one has been approved for use by healthcare professionals by the US FDA's Emergency Use Authorization for the COVID-19 pandemic. So, since nagsimula yung COVID-19 pandemic, ito yung ginagawang alternative dito sa surgical kasi nga widely available ito compared dito. This one has a 95% filtration efficiency against certain non-oil based particles. Since nagsimula yung COVID-19 pandemic, medyo naging scarce na din tayo dito. Even medical professionals, sobrang nahihirapan kami maghanap ng ganitong mask and naging sobrang mahal siya. This N95 retails for 3,000 pesos to 7,000 pesos per box of 20 pieces. Kaya nga we encourage those people na wala sa medical field na ipaubayo na lang yung N95 sa amin. Okay, so I also have this 8000 N95. This is also a particulate respirator in for industrial use. And this is only used for light duty work or short duration wear times. I'm not sure if you can see it but it is particularly thinner than this one. So mas manipis ito. So I also have this Respir X particulate respirator or the 5200. So this is used for environments with non-oil dust and fumes. Kasi this is not waterproof. 
And finally, I have this 1870 or the Aura Healthcare Particulate Respirator. Like the 1860 Particulate Respirator, this is also considered a surgical mask. This is not really widely available, especially here in the Philippines. This is also considered a surgical mask with protection against airborne particles. So it is basically the same as with the 1860. Um, this is just a bit more comfortable than this one. So, mas breathable ito kesa dito. Okay, so the next one that I have here is this one. Itong 3M na half respirator. I bought this for 1,900 pesos, itong mask lang. And separate pa itong kanyang filter, uh, which is 550 per pair. So, yung kanyang filter is a polypropylene filter material which has a 99.97% filter efficiency. That's why it's called P900. So, NIOSH approved din ito siya. It also has a one-way exhaust valve, which is underneath here. Yung ini-exhale ko dito lumalabas. This one is very complicated to use. As you can see, and dami yung straps over your head and underneath. That is to ensure na sealed talaga yung mask sa mukha mo. This mask has several types of filter. So, this one, ito yung pinaka-common. The, the problem with this one is hindi siya waterproof. So, hindi siya pwedeng mabasaw. Kasi once mabasa siya, masisira yung electrostatic activity niya. That is responsible for the filtration. So next we have these KF94 nanofiber masks. Tong nanofiber masks na uso to sa Korea. Primarily for the protection against fine dust. Kasi a couple years ago, nabalitaan natin di ba that Korea has the largest amount of fine dust particles na nagkakos ng respiratory illnesses sa mga sa mga citizens don. They made this particularly for that purpose. Pero ngayon, ginagamit na siya for the COVID-19 pandemic. What is the difference between nanofiber masks compared sa mga surgical masks sa mga N95? N95 and surgical masks and even itong P100 filters use electrostatic activity to filter particles. The reason why hindi sila pwedeng mabasa or magmoist was because yung moist or yung water, it deactivates the electrostatic function of the filter. So, hindi na siya makakapag-filter ng maayos. Whereas, sa ating nanofiber masks, it uses physical filtration. So, hindi electrostatic yung filtration na ginagamit niya. Yung mask mismo ang nagpi-filter. What makes it better? This is washable. I have two types of um, nanofiber masks here. I have the green box and the ill wool. So, let's start with the green box. Ito yung unang nanofiber mask na nabili ko. I bought this from a friend. This is sold from 200 to 250 pesos. Pero meron iba na bibenta dito, 180, 190. Depends. But the actual retail price of this one is 140 pesos. So this is worn like this. And so, meron siya elastic ear loop. And it also has a nose wire to secure the fit and the seal of the mask. So because of its 3D design, malaki yung space niya between your mouth and the mask. Kaya sobrang breathable niya talaga. Kasi hindi talaga nakadikit yung fabric dun sa mukha mo. So, the next one that I have here is the ill wool mask. So, this one is cheaper. I found this one while I was looking for an alternative sa green box. Kasi sobrang namamahalan talaga ako dito. It retails for 80 to 130 pesos each. So, nanofiber mask din ito siya. But, there is a huge difference between this one and this one. Kasi ito, mas makapal siya. Mas makapal yung kanyang fabric. And it looks sturdier. This mask kasi, they can be washed and reused for up to 20 times. This one kasi, as I reused it for I think mga apat, limang beses na, parang nasisira na yung kanyang tela. And yung dito sa area ng nose wire, napupunit na siya. By the fifth time na nasoak ko siya and na reuse ko siya, nabutas na itong lalagyan ng nose wire. So, natanggal na yung nose wire. So, I had to throw it away. Itong ill wool, I've been using this um, since yung sinimulan ko siyang gamitin. Siguro na-wash ko na siya, I think, around 10, 11 times. And it still looks the same. So, hindi nasisira yung sa may nose wire niya. Hindi siya naghihimulmol. Ito naghihimulmol ito. Kaya, nagtitrigger ito ng aking rhinitis. Ito kasi, hindi ganun ka pliable yung kanyang nose wire. Whereas, itong ill wool, pag nilalagay ko siya sa ilong ko, 
talagang nagpa-form siya sa shape ng nose ko, which gives me a better seal. So, the nanofiber mask is made primarily in Korea. And it is non-electrostatic, like I said kanina, physical ang kanyang filtration. This is supposed to be disposable talaga. One use, pwede mo siyang i-dispose. But, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, na-recommend na nila na pwede siyang gamitin ulit. Pwede siyang i-wash and gamitin ulit. So, so, next we have the most common mask used in hospitals. Itong surgical mask. And ito talaga yung super widely available anywhere. This is typically used during surgical and medical procedures. It is also intended to protect both the wearer and the patient. And widely used siya in the pandemic to date. Super disposable talaga ito. So once you use it, ang maximum use nito is 8 hours unless it gets wet or dirty or contaminated with um, bodily fluids. Before the pandemic, this is very affordable. 150 to 250 pesos isang box na ng 50 pieces of this one. When COVID-19 happened, syempre tumaas yung demand ng mga surgical masks. Kaya sobrang nagmahal din siya. Surgical masks retail for 150 to 750 pesos per box of 50 pieces. I do not use this alone as a surgical mask and I do not use this in the hospital. Ginagamit ko siya as filter sa aking mga cloth masks. So, okay, so those are the masks that are for medical use. Again, we have the N95 particulate respirator. Meron tayong half respirator. We have a nanofiber mask and also the surgical mask. Now, let us move on naman sa ating non-medical masks. So, yun yung mga masks na hindi approved for use medically. Hindi siya recommended na gamitin sa hospital when you are dealing with patients that are possi possibly COVID positive. Ito yung mga cloth masks. So I have several non-medical masks here or what I typically call my fashion masks na ginagamit ko siya when I'm not in the hospital. So pag lumalabas ako, running errands or you know, groceries or or any kind of activities na wala ako sa hospital but I have to go out of the house, ito yung mga sinusuot ko. So let me start with my regatta mask. This mask that I bought from regatta is made with a two-ply jersey fabric. Meron siyang filter pocket. I said previously na yung surgical mask na meron ako, hindi ko siya ginagamit sa hospital, but I only use them as filters. So this is an example. So ginupit ko siya. Ito yung nilalagay ko dito sa pocket. This one, of course, is disposable. So after one use, one or two uses, it depends, tinatapon ko na siya. This mask from Regatta retails for 95 pesos. They have other kinds of masks. Ito lang yung binili ko kasi maganda siya. Simple lang siya and dito talaga ako na-attract sa kanyang logo. Next, I have these masks from Memo. Yung style ng mask niya is 3D mask. Yung itsura niya is katulad nung sa nanofiber masks. This has a 3D design. So, meron din siyang filter pocket. And it also has a pouch for storage. This mask retails for 149 pesos each. Which is fairly cheap. Kasi maganda yung design niya. Meron pa siyang pouch. No? So, next, I have this mask from Pen Shop. This mask comes in two sizes. Small and medium. So, nung binili ko siya, hindi ko actually na-check na meron pala siyang size. Pero, yung nabili ko is medium. And it is kind of big. <laughs> Malaki siya. Pero, okay na rin naman siya. Hindi naman ganun ka laki talaga siya tingnan. So, it is made of cotton fabric. And it comes with free filter that looks like a surgical mask. And I think Pen Shop also sells this filter separately. This mask retails for 89 pesos each. So, this is actually the cheapest mask na may brand na nabili ko. And mayroon pa siyang free filter. So, goodbye na talaga siya. So, the next one that I have here is from an independent seller from Shopee. This is from So Much by Elsie. The mask itself retails for 70 pesos. Pero yung binili ko is a set of mask, ear saver, and as crunchy for 110 pesos. This mask is reversible. It is water repellent. Mayroon siyang contoured design. It has round ear loop bands. It has a cotton front and back outer layer. And the inner layer is made of non-woven fabric which serves as its filter. Now the next one that I have is from Fancy Yarn PH. This mask retails for 175 pesos for a set of three. It is made of a two-ply neoprene fabric. It has a garter string. 
It also has printed designs. And most especially, it also has a filter pocket. So, yun talaga. Then, I have this mask from Bio. This one retails for 695 pesos for a set of three. This one comes with a free pouch also. And the Bio mask comes with a medical grade polypropylene washable filter. Meron siyang filter na ganito, non moving polypropylene, and it is washable. The mask has three layers it is water repellent. Poly blended yung fabric niya outside and cotton blended naman yung fabric niya inside. So it has adjustable ear loops with latex free garter. This one you can wear the ear loops around your ears. And pwede mo rin siyang ihook sa likod ng ulo mo if you feel like masyado nang masakit sa tenga mo. So you can add okay. And then I have this abaka mask from Hey Candy PH. I bought this for 249 pesos each. Yung abaka niya is water repellent. It is plastic free, made by local farmers, artisans, and designers. So yung outer layer niya is made of abaka paper on indigenous plant fiber. Yung inner naman niya is cotton. So this one is biodegradable. And yung filtration niya was DOST tested and has been proven to be better than cloth masks. Yung kanyang outer layer, yung abaka layer niya is sobrang, medyo matigas siya. Matigas siya, but cotton yung kanyang inner layer. Kaya pag sinuot mo siya, comfortable din siya. So, the next one that I have here is from D Corp. This one retails for 330 pesos for a set of 5. So, yung outside fabric niya is spandex and cotton naman yung sa loob. So, it has a filter pocket. Okay, so I also have this one. This is a made-to-order na mask. So, ito yung kauna-unahang cloth mask na meron ako nung nagsimula yung pandemic. This only retails for 30 pesos each. So, yung fabric niya is made of, hindi ko alam kung anong klaseng fabric to, but this one is the one that we use for sa mga scrub suits na tela. What I like is meron din siyang filter pocket. It feels comfortable, breathable. So, wala siyang design. So, like, super simple lang talaga yung kanyang itsura. And so, I also have a mask that I bought from SM. Generic mask lang ito that I bought from SM store, which retails for 99 pesos for a set of three. Yung fabric na ginamit niya is somewhat similar to an underwear. So, parang yung tela na ginagamit sa mga panties. <laughs> Meron din siyang filter pocket. Ayan, but this is very small. Malaki yung mukha ko. Kaya, medyo... Kailangan siyang i-adjust para sumakop talaga siya sa buong mukha ko. And I'm not really fond of this. Kaya medyo nagsisisi ako ba't ako bumili nito. <laughs> so, moving on. The last mask that I have here is this one. So, this is a cotton mask na hindi ko to nabili. This is actually for free na nakuha ko while I was attending a convention a couple years ago. So, this is made of cotton. And... So, wala siyang filter pocket actually. And so, this is actually the first ever cloth mask na meron ako kahit nung wala pong pandemic. Kasi nga, like I said, two years ago. So, before, before the pandemic started, I usually use this pag nagta-travel ako papuntang work or at the airports. So, pag nagta-travel ako outside the country. So, sinusuot ko to kasi nga, laging natitrigger yung rhinitis ko. Especially if nasa mga super crowded places ako. Pero ngayon, hindi ko na to ginagamit. I use to use this. Nung wala pa ako nitong mga cloth mask na to, ginagamit ko to underneath a surgical mask. Nilalagay ko to and then I cover it with a surgical mask. But since I already have this in my possession, hindi ko na to ginagamit. So, nakatago na lang ito. So, ayun guys. So, those are the masks that I use both medically and non-medically. So, I hope you learned a lot from this video and I also hope that you enjoyed watching. If you did, please hit like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys soon. Hopefully. <laughs> Bye!